Hello, I'm Jeffrey Hauser, author of the Learn With series, technical entrepreneur, all around consultant. And I'm actually can, today going to talk about the Learn With series. I wanted to show a little bit of my setup. Just released um, books with Java services related to them. Actually, my so in, integrating Angular and um, Angular JS with Java. So uh, they are out now and that is awesome but I wanted to show my basically internal setup I've been using for development and how I how I set things up with Java I'm actually using um, the Jersey framework in Java to create the rest services that power the application that you learn about in the learn with books so um, and in the book I talk about command line tools and stuff but this screencast is actually to tell you how I've been doing everything with IntelliJ um, so first I have a folder named Java here and then AngularJS, A5, Angular 4, and Angular 5. So all these things I have the code all set up to integrate with the remote services. But um, I'm going to start by, basically I'm going to create the Java project for Chapter 8. And I need a new module, Maven, I'm going to create from an archetype, which is basically just the Maven default project, and this is the one I need. So Jersey Quick Start Web App 2. And then group ID, artifact ID, I'm going to do LW Chapter 8. I spelled that wrong. So learn with Chapter 8 is what that means, and I'll leave the version as is. Uh, no changes here. Here I actually am uh, module name going to leave the same content root. Uh, I'm going to leave all that as is and click finish. This is going to create the project. There's nothing here. It's still populating it. And it immediately opened up the pom file using Maven under the hood. So the pom file is what makes things, um, is how we build the Java. I'm going to scroll down. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment this dependency. This dependency is um, allows JSON to be created. And I don't know why why that would be commented out in the first place because just about everything I deal with these days and I assume most people deal with is JSON when creating REST services and XML if it's supported at all is usually an afterthought like the industry has really moved away but for whatever reason by default JSON support is commented out and my own internal system I'm actually using JVM 9 so Jersey depends on some libraries um, so it has some dependencies that I am going to just copy and paste in here. These are part of earlier JVMs, the Java X, part of earlier JVMs not available in Java 9. So just by adding these libraries back in Jersey will work fine. At least it worked fine for my purposes. And I am also using SQL Server. So I'm going to throw the SQL Server dependency in here too and I'm not going to type this stuff out manually because that would be boring and not very fun. So if you pay attention, if you look closely <laughs> at this um, sort of directory structure here, normally if you were creating um, a web app or an Angular application, the, the web app is where your browsable code, where your Angular code would go in this directory here. But I, because of my structure I have, um, I have it off in different directories. So I'm actually I'm going to do Angular 5 here. So I want to make my POM file launch a gulp process to build the project. And then it's going to copy the files. So for in this case, I'll go over here. And it'll do gulp build um, using the own um, internal scripts that I used for this application. And then it'll take this build directory and it'll copy that into this web app folder before actually deploying it to a server. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to go up here. I'm going to add some plugins. 
So, and it's not so much fun to watch me type this stuff, or rather, it won't be, trust me. So, I'm going to use this exec maven plugin, and this, I'm using this plugin to execute something. So, I'm going to build Angular 5, I copied it from my chapter 8 code. So, the executable is gulp, and the argument is build. So, when this Maven process runs, it'll run a gulp build, like that. And that is going to compile everything, um, everything in this source directory and create the build directory. Um, process very similar to what the Angular CLI does, although I didn't use it in the book because Angular CLI was basically not a blip on the radar when I wrote the first book, and I haven't gone back to update them. Um, but but I do have a, a full full chapter in the bonus book on the Angular CLI and how to use it. So, but you'll notice this directory structure. We need to copy files, so I'm going to use a completely different plugin, Maven plugin, to copy those files. Boom. And this is the Maven resource plugin. It's going to copy web app A5, it's short for Angular 5. And let me make sure I get chapter 8, not 7. So obviously, I have all this code working for previous chapters. This is my first setup of chapter 8, which I decided to record. I thought it would make a great thing for my. Uh, my newsletter. So this this is the POM file. So based on the additions, we added a few libraries. We added libraries um, to make JSON work with our REST services, to make um, to make sure that this works against JVM9, uh, and we had a library for SQL Server access. So those are the three libraries dependencies we added. Then we added two plugins, one to execute the um, the gulp script outside an external directory, and then another one to copy the results of that gulp script into our own application. So uh, let's see, and that that's the POM file stuff and the Maven related stuff. So I'm going to go to edit configurations in IntelliJ. This is sort of back to IntelliJ specific code, and I'm going to create uh, a new Maven. Going to call it. Compile chapter 8 and working directory will be boom and the command line will be package and that should be right yeah so th this is all, all we need to do so this is going to be um, just bas basically at one one click of a button we can run our maven package from within IntelliJ uh, that's the less interesting thing. I'm going to add a new Tomcat server too. And I'm going to give this 8.8 for an HTTP port. I, I already set up, I'm using 8.5.2.4.1 for the Tomcat version. That's already configured within IntelliJ. After launch, yep, load Chrome. I'm going to remove this and add is it run maven ah, run another configuration Ooh, and where my compile chapter eight's not there oh uh, so let's do apply save. That's probably why it's not there. There we go. Compile chapter eight. I'm going to name this too. So the learn with Java chapter eight. And then deployment. I'm going to remove whatever was there by default. I'm going to add an artifact and chapter eight. I don't think I need it exploded. Did I do it? That order is going to drive me nuts. Uh, 
and deployment. Yeah, so. Yeah, so no, I did not deploy the exploded one. Chapter 8, I'm going to remove this, uh, apply. And now we should be ready if I run this it should launch it it's running the build maven plugin it should be you see it building my angular 5 application all for chapter 8 and this has been the worst worst part about building building all this with java with cold fusion with php even with node it's really super easy you make changes to code and they're sort of automatically show up but this sort of copy over process has been a um, more, more time consuming i guess that's the, the joy of compiled languages versus uh, loosely compiled languages Okay, and now the compile was successful. We saw no errors over here, and it is now launching, doing whatever it needs to do. Using JDK 9, which is what I set to my default. It's deploying the artifact. So it started the server, now it's deploying the artifact, which in essence is my compiled application. And launch the browser, which we see the default here. I'm gonna do A5, which should, there. And if we log in, we should see the completed application that we build that we build throughout the book and that is what I wanted to show I thought it would be thought, thought it would be interesting to see a little of the process under the hood and since the book doesn't cover how to use an IDE to do these sort of things I just talk about command lines and how to set up in uh, Tomcat and Intel and um, Maven and stuff like that but it's uh, a lot easier not to use the command line in my experience so Thank you, everybody. Once again, go check out the books, Learn With, um, learn-with.com, and um, Ang Angular, Cold Fusion, PHP, Java, Node, tons of different technologies that are covered. And in time, I hope to have more front-end technologies. Thank you.